a main focus of this analysis at the 22 month time point was what happens to the patients who get to the end of treatment and then cease venetoclax rituximab. As mentioned, the median um, time off treatment is now 22 months and for that cohort overall, the 24 month progression free survival after cessation is 68%. So for the overall cohort, it's very good. But that was stratified according to their depth of remission at the end of treatment, as measured by minimal residual disease. So of the 130 who got to that two year time point, there were 14 patients who had high level MRD above 1% at that time point. Their time to progression has been quite short and only one patient remains progression free of that 14 at 18 months. Amongst the more favourable deep responders, those who achieved, who were still in uh, undetectable MRD status at the time that they ceased treatment had an 84% likelihood of remaining progression free at two years. Those who had low level MRD had a 47% uh, likelihood at that two year time point. So for the cohort overall, the progression-free survival is quite favourable, particularly those who are undetectable MRD, but even those who had low-level MRD positivity, their time off treatment on average has been longer than their time on treatment. 